Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going to be working on JJ this morning, and what we're going to be doing is, let me get down here. Guys, before we get to the video, I want to take a moment to say a few words about this video sponsor. Joy Tudors has sent me this uh, universal cup holder that will fit just about any cup holder size in your vehicle and almost any size drink you would want to put inside it. It's even got a cutout slot for a coffee mug, which is what I'll be using it for. The size is customizable. It's got these little tabs right here. All right, this is set up as tight as it'll go. These right here are fully adjustable. That setup right there is for a bigger size cup. And then the last setting for the biggest cups I like it right there take them out all together it's got a handy little store space down in the bottom now let me put it in JJ here so it just goes in that easy so this is my wife's 2011 Ford Explorer. It's got two different size cup holders right here. Perfect fit. Perfect fit. All right, guys, I got three different size cups here and I'm gonna show you how they all work. I've got it set up on my, what I think is the most universal way. I've got the tabs, the L shape going down. It's a little bit looser fit. This is my smallest coffee mug I would be using. Goes in there perfectly. This is uh, my regular size coffee mug, which is what I use very often. Fits in there perfectly. And then sometimes you go by a service station and you just want a big drink. And I have this Dunkin' Donuts uh, drink holder right here. And it goes in there also perfectly. And I didn't mention this before, but on these adjustments you got here, you don't have to flip them all the same way. You can, you can mix and match them. If you want to just kind of a, if you've almost got the right fit, but not quite. And customize it to your perfect drink so that's how easy it is to install it all right guys i'm going to give this one away and the way you enter is to like the video comment saying i want one and click on the link in the description and go to joytutus.com and check out all their products i will link this one in the description and that'll get you to their website they got a ton of jeep things and uh, y'all go check it out. Now let's get to the video. We're gonna be working on the exhaust. I'm gonna be cutting all of this garbage off that I've got welded in here. And this, this uh, muffler has went bad. It rattles and vibrates going down the road pretty bad. And it's not, when it's really hot, you can bump it and it just, it's all broke loose in there. So anyway, I've got new pipe from up here to where you can see the color change all the way out the back so that's what we're going to be doing today so let's get to it
So I've got all my pipe welding done that I'm going to be doing. I didn't film me welding because I hate to admit how many lenses on these cameras I have ruined from, from welding and splatter getting on the screen. So anyway, uh, this is a new camera I've got here. So I did want to weld around it, but y'all seen me weld before and did that with my little Flux 125 Titanium Welder is the brand name of it. So anyway, it does a good job. But now I'm going to put this up. I'm going to have three clamps. I'm going to use a clamping system on my muffler up here where the muffler goes. Uh, two, one on each side of it. And I'm going to clamp this piece right here. So I'll have three clamps on this system. That way if I need to do any work on it, it's easy to take them off and have plenty of room. So anyway, I'm going to get this piece right here put into position get my muffler put up I've already got my rear pipe in place okay I've already got my muffler on the other end of this pipe with the clamp on it I'm going to fish this pipe over the top of the skid plate Let's see if you can possibly see that and uh, that way I don't have to try to put this clamp on right here after it's over the skip plate so anyway let me see if i can get this done with the muffler on it this time that's all the way on for anybody wanting to know this pipe right here is two and a half inches so this is a two and a half inch pipe with the end flared out so all I gotta do is get me a two and a half inch clamp to put right here I would probably put the nuts of the clamp facing up just so it'll be a cleaner look There's the uh, completed exhaust all the way out the back. All I like is putting this one clamp on. I don't believe it'll leak. Let's fire it up and see what it sounds like. Uh, I need a number one combo with the Coke to drink. Alright, number one combo with the Coke to drink. Detail combo. 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 Driving this thing around, I can tell you it's a little bit louder than it was with the other muffler I just took off. It sounds good, but it's a little bit louder when I was actually hoping it might be slightly quieter. So anyway, that was a little bit of disappointment right there. But anyway, no more vibration from the uh, muffler when I bogged the engine. That, that's what I was having before I bogged the engine. I would have a, a very loose medley vibration sound under the, the bottom of the Jeep, which was the internals of the muffler. So anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video here. There's no need for me showing y'all me putting the last clamp on. It's more of the same that you've already seen me do. I thank y'all for watching today, and y'all uh, remember the uh, the drawing I want to do for the cup holder. Uh, y'all can get that, just uh, follow the directions that I gave earlier, and we will give that away very shortly.
And I thank y'all for watching. Y'all come back next time. We'll see what we got going then. Yeah.